Today, we will study the mechanism of enzyme. How do enzymes perform their functions? How does the mechanism of enzyme action work? As you can see here, this is an enzyme and this part is the active side of the enzyme. The site you see below, opposite to it is the allosteric site of the enzyme. Let me define both of these. What is an active site? The active site is where the substrate comes and binds. What is an allosteric site? As for the allosteric site, it is located opposite the active site. We can also say that this is the site where a non competitive inhibitor attaches. To understand this in detail, let's understand some illustrations. This here is the substrate shown in orange. This is the competitive inhibitor which resembles the substrate, right? And this is the non competitive inhibitor. The non competitive inhibitor binds to the allosteric site. Now let me define all three one by one. What is the substrate? The substrate is the substance that comes and fits into the enzyme's active site. What is the competitive inhibitor? The competitive inhibitor looks like the substrate. This inhibitor also binds to the enzyme's active site, stopping the enzyme's activity. What is the non-competitive inhibitor? The non-competitive inhibitor attaches to the allosteric site, which also stops the enzyme's activity. Now, how do these mechanisms work? Let's begin. Here you can see an enzyme and this is its substrate. The substrate comes and fits into the enzyme's active site, forming an enzyme substrate complex. This allows the reaction to occur, resulting in the formation of the enzyme's products. Now let's move on to competitive inhibition. Here is the enzyme, the substrate, and the competitive inhibitor. The competitive inhibitor comes and binds to the active site, preventing the substrate from binding. Because of this, the enzyme's activity is inhibited. This process is called competitive inhibition, which stops the reaction and prevents it from proceeding further. Now let's move on to non-competitive inhibition to see how it works. Here is the enzyme and this is the substrate opposite to it. This black structure represents the non-competitive inhibitor. It binds to the allosteric site. Once it attaches, the shape of the enzyme changes, preventing the substrate from fitting into the active site. Because the substrate cannot bind, the enzyme's activity stops. This is called non-competitive inhibition, which also stops the reaction from proceeding further. Question of the day. What is the region of an enzyme called where substrate molecules bind and undergo a chemical reaction? Only a genius can answer in comments. If you would like to watch my other lectures on topics like the lungs, kidneys, liver, brain and eyes, visit my channel to view my other videos.